Okay, so let's have a look at this um, question here. Which circuit allows measurement of the charging, discharging current through and the PD across the capacitor through the same resistor? When you've got a question that's asking you to choose a circuit, you need to actually look at the path of the electricity through each circuit. So here we want to measure the charging or the discharging current through and PD across the capacitor, but through the same resistor. Okay, so that bit's key. So if we look at A with, um, let's go for charging. So I'm going to draw on here, moving that up there. If we follow through, then we can charge through this resistor here. And um, we would measure the current with this ammeter here. And we would measure the voltmeter with this voltmeter here. When we discharge, moving to the bottom position, um, I wonder how I, I can't delete that off. But when we move to the bottom position, we are no longer discharging through a resistor. So our criteria of the same resistor is not valid. So it's not that circuit. Um, let's have a look through this one. When we let's do discharging first because then I won't have the red line in the wrong place. So discharging first, we can see that we are discharging through that resistor. However, we can't measure the current because that ammeter is not um, in this part of the circuit. So it's not going to give us any current data. Um, this, so that's not that one either. It's not B. Uh, looking at C, we can see that when we are discharging, we are discharging through this resistor. We have an ammeter and a voltmeter. Um, and when we are charging, we are also charging through this particular resistor as well. So that, I would suggest, is the correct answer. But let's just double check. Discharging, we are through this resistor here. We have an ammeter to measure the current and a voltmeter to measure the voltage. However, when we're charging in this top circuit here, when there is no longer a connection at that point, we are not going through the resistor. So that confirms the answer is C. OK, so then it says which circuit allows rapid charging of the capacitor? but risks damaging a sensitive ammeter. Well, that bit is really important. Damaging a sensitive ammeter would mean we had a really high current, which means we do not pass our um, charging process through a resistor. OK, we are rapidly charging it. There's no resistor in series with the capacitor when we are charging. But that means our current could be so high that we will damage our ammeter. So again, let's have a look. Well, we've already seen from the first question that this one here has a resistor um, in the charging process, so it can't be A. B, we also can see that if we switch, move the switch up to the top, um, we have a resistor here, so therefore that cannot be the right answer. C, we found out from the last question, was right for having a um, a suitable charging and discharging through a resistor, so it can't be that one. So it must be D, but let's just double check. We have this resistor when we're coming round in this part, the discharging part of the circuit. However, when we connect for charging to the two cells, we can see we have the ammeter in series with the capacitor, but we do not have a protective resistor there. So D is the correct answer. And that ammeter would risk being damaged. Right, final um, question. Which circuit would give no useful discharging data and risks damaging a sensitive ammeter? So key here, discharging data. We did charging data before. Now we're doing discharging data. But we're looking for a situation where we are not discharging through a resistor. Now, we can immediately cross off C because we can see here that we are going to charge and discharge through that resistor. 
Um, we can also cross off this one because we pointed out last, um, on the last question that we would be discharging through that resistor but not charging through it. B can be crossed off because we would be discharging through this resistor that's in series with um, the capacitor here. So let's look at A and just double check. In this part of the circuit here, if you follow the circuit round, there is no resistor in the discharging loop and so this ammeter is not protected and you could end up damaging it. So A would be the correct answer there. I hope that's been helpful trying to understand which circuits you would use or how to interpret circuits when thinking about capacitance and resistors.